Hello viewers, this is Clockworks and welcome back to Dust and Elysian Tale. There's a fly in my face, get out of there. Get out of here, fly. Okay. Now then, I don't know what we were doing last, but I just loaded in and I got ambushed, so I'm not too happy. I'm not too happy about that. There we go. Right, so, what were we doing last? I think we're uh, continuing our exploration of this mountainous, snowy area. Yeah, that sounds about right. So uh, let's go ahead and go up here. I think I need to go through here. Ah. This looks correct. Storm, huh? Oh, this makes it a lot easier to avoid the monsters, so I'm not complaining. Catch me if you can! <laughs> ah, shit. Excellent. Escaped. What the hell? Be an asshole to me again. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Ow. Whew. This snowstorm just keeps on going. Ah! 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 No, hold on. Hold on a minute. Ah! No! Ah, oh, good damn it. Yes! I made it! Whew, excellent. Save that. Be gone, fly. Ah, a shop. This is exactly what I need. Ah, hello. Hello to you too. Whoa, what is going on here? Look at this. Can you see all this lag? What the fuck? Oh no. That's a crash. Yeah, that was a crash. Thankfully there was a safe one here, otherwise I'd be pretty pissed off about that. Don't you crash again. Ah, hello. Good. I would play forever, or at least. 
is to the right. Ooh, what the hell? There, there was a road here. I remember it. Before that day. That day? What is that day? Is the day before you lost your memory? A road, huh? It certainly looks like there's a road. I mean, you can see a little path to the right there, but I can't go that way, so... Oh, well. I have a feeling something interesting is about to happen. Look! Up ahead! A village! All the way up here? Do you think it's that Moonblood camp Kane was talking about? No, it's something else. It's... En enough talking. Let's get up there. It would actually be a bad thing if it was the Moonblood village, because I'm pretty sure they'll know who I am. <laughs> Wasn't I one of the assassins that killed their entire people? Halt! Halt? No. One of you guys, huh? What? No. Impossible! Cassius! What did you call me? Who are you? What are you doing in this place? You... You were dead! No. No, this is not possible. I don't know what demon you are, yes, fear but me. you will not step any closer. Fear Kill me. this thing. Fear to me. Whoa, whoa, they can put up a fight. Apparently not good enough though. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here, noob. Why? Why destroy such a peaceful place? We didn't want any of this. Gus, what are you talking about? And who is Cassius? He's going crazy. That's not... It's not my name. I'd remember it. I'd know it when I heard it. It probably is your name. That or someone who looks exactly like me. Let me guess, maybe I have a, a twin brother, an evil twin brother out there somewhere. Who's, uh... Everyone hates. Looks like this place has been destroyed for quite some time. A year, actually. Huh? How do you know that? This was Ginger's village. I was here. One year ago, according to Fuse, according to Ginger, I helped murder everyone in this village. Lovely. Oh, dust. But I don't remember any of it. I remember this place, but it feels like it's been more than a year. Ara, what does it mean? It only means that things are not as they seem. Explore the village further, dust. Let us see what secrets it hides. Ooh, treasure hunt. This house. Do you remember something, Dust? This is impossible. Nothing is impossible. Nothing up there. Hold on. Okay. No secret there. Dust? How? Do you see now? But how, Ara? I don't understand. The answers lie above, Dust. How what? What do, what do I see? I don't see anything yet. Is this my house? Is this my old house? Oh my god, it cuts Ginger. Me. She was sleeping right here. On the night I came to say goodbye. But... I hesitated. I didn't want to wake her. Didn't want her to worry about me. She couldn't know what I was about to do. Dust, what are you saying? She couldn't know that I was about to go avenge our parents. You mean, you're... But how? What's going on here? I... I remember now. But how? How can I have helped destroy this village? 
but be a victim of that same act. That's impossible. I'm confused. Only impossible for a creature with a single soul. Ginger. Those eyes. I know those eyes. So, Mithrarin, you finally see the truth. Is that my name? Who are you? I am Elder Grey Eyes, leader of the Moonblood people. Well, what's left of them, that is. What did you mean just then, that I can finally see the truth? What do you know about me? His eyes, Elder. They're Jin's eyes. They do look remarkably similar to your brother's, yes. That is because his soul lives on within dust. What? However, to suit our needs, we required two souls. The soul of innocence is a noble thing, but without skill, without power, dust would have been struck down just as easily as your brother was on that fated day. No. So we combined your brother's soul with that of his murderer, the royal assassin known as Cassius. They perished at the same time, forever entwined. Never before had I heard of such an event. Why would they do something like that? You murderer! My parents did nothing wrong! You have been deceived, little one. Your parents turned against their king, an act of pure treason. What resistance there was, was led by your family alone. You destroyed my village, murdered my friends and family. You will not survive this day! I take no joy in slaughtering one as young as you, child. But you have forced my hand. Huh. A grave injustice was done that day. Cassius murdered a defenseless djinn, but his pride and arrogance proved to be his undoing. But how? How can this... this thing be my brother? It's not possible. I couldn't even remember you when we met. You are djinn, yes. But you are also Cassius. Two souls, forever at odds. One of innocence, one of power. Together you form the one we call Mithrarin, he who is born of the dust. I never knew what happened. Jin just disappeared one night. I had always hoped he would turn up alive someday. Hmm. That he would come back. But could you really be him? Ginger... I don't know. I... I don't know. Now, Dust, I imagine you have many questions. Please, do not hesitate to ask them. No, I'm good, thanks. <laughs> oh, I suppose I should. What am I exactly? Well, we already know the answer to that. The souls of two dead people combined into one, right? Cassius killed Ginger's brother. I don't know how they managed to get hold of Cassius' soul then, but we'll see. Uh, what am Who, I? Who, or I guess, what am I? You are what my people call Sen Mithrarin, he who is born of the dust, created from the essence of the life thread itself. You see, my people have been on the verge of extinction for a great many years. General Gaius planned to eradicate us once and for all. And while our warriors are proud and strong, what chance would we have against such a powerful foe? To defeat General Gaius and save our people, we would need a warrior capable of standing against an entire army. This warrior would also need to be pure of heart, incorruptible. So that's why you picked Cassius and Jin, Just like you said, opposites. Hmm. Exactly. Cassius was one of the greatest warriors this world has ever seen, and Jin's purity of heart would help guide our warrior to save our kind. From their fallen souls, you were born. Born to save us. To save this world. The world. Why couldn't I remember? 
Why did I only remember now? I didn't even recognize Ginger when I met her. You may possess the souls of two separate beings, but your body and mind are your own. You were created to save this world, so we felt giving you memories of either soul would simply distract you from the task at hand. I had no idea who I was, what my purpose was. You say that, but in all cases you did exactly what we intended you to do. You saved complete strangers outside of Aurora Village. You stopped our wayward brother Fuse from destroying all that we sought oh, to save. So they forgive me you for that. You saved Mudpot and brought the waters of life back into this land. You purged a demonic rage from this land and even helped two old souls find peace once more. You may not have known your purpose, but that did not stop you from fulfilling it. Thank you for summarizing all here. my actions up to this point. Yes. Now you are here, and we can finish this fight once and for all. Who was Fuse? Who was Fuse? He said he was a Moonblood, but he looks nothing like you. Fuse. He was once a fine warrior, and a close friend of Ginger's family. He would help transport goods between this village and our camp. After the village was destroyed, I guess he lost his mind. He was horribly disfigured after the attack. The only way he could survive was in a special suit of magical armor that I helped to construct. He demanded we attack General Gaius right away, but I would not hear any of it. He would have killed us all in the name of vengeance. We would not have stood a chance. When I refused to send our warriors into battle, he called me a coward and vowed that he would destroy Gaius with or without my help. I fear the very armor we made to save his life had corrupted his mind and body beyond repair. Poor guy. If only we could have gone through to him somehow. No, you're right to kill him. If he had remained alive, there's no telling what damage he could have done. Ginger is right. Fuse was beyond saving. For all our sakes, I hope the same is not true of the world he sought to protect. Huh. And how does Ara fit into all of this? How does the Blade of Ara fit into all this? What is it, exactly? It is one of the five blades of Elysium, ancient weapons forged when our kind were many, and the way of the flameless light was commonplace. Wait, wait, wait. What the heck is the way of the flameless light? A path we Moonbloods continue to follow. It is a way of living, a way of thought that allows us to make use of a power both old and great. Magic without magic. I am so confused. Surely, as Nimbat's sword guardian, you've studied the ancient doctrines. You must know, in the event that the sword is summoned by its rightful owner, you are obligated to follow. I may have skipped over that chapter? You haven't answered my question. The Blades of Elysium were created to guide their sword-bearer's dust. I was summoned to your side to ensure a balance was maintained between the souls within you. Ah, my old friend. It is good to hear your voice once more. It has been a long time, Master. Wait just a second. How can you possibly know each other? My clan's been keeping the sword hidden for over 200 years. Master Grey Eyes has lived for a very long time, Fidget. Longer than any of you. So you were sent to keep an eye on me? To help you reach your true potential. Nothing more. Huh. How convenient. I have no more questions. What now? You must join us in the Moonblood camp to the north in the Everdawn Basin. That isn't anywhere near the Everdawn Volcanoes, is it? They are one and the same, yes. Well, that's fantastic. Volcanoes? Indeed. What a better place to hide than in the most volatile land in all the kingdom. Oh, I know. How about a peaceful meadow? Or a quiet forest? Or someplace that doesn't explode every ten minutes? Dust, your friend seems awfully tense. No, I'm fine. Come on, let's go to the Blowy Up Mountains. Really, I'm serious. Fidget, you need to have more faith in me. I'll have faith in you when you have faith in yourself. 
How about it, huh? Who are you? Really? I'm the soul of an innocent tempered with justice. I am Jin. I am the soul of power tempered with vengeance. I am Cassius. I am dust. I can choose? Does this mean I could go like evil or good? Well, I'm just, I'm just gonna go dust because, you know, obvious choice. I am... I... Uh... You see? You still haven't figured it out yet! Lizard guy tells you right to your face and you still don't know! Alright. Fidget, don't please calm attitude. down. You mustn't test your friend like this. I just... <sighs> if I'm gonna follow you to the literal end of this world, I need to know who I'm following. And why? I understand, Fidget. You're right. I can't ask you to follow me. But I can. Fidget, you have stood by Dust's side for this entire journey. You have watched him save this world. How can you continue to doubt? I just don't get it. It doesn't matter who he thinks he is. He's Dust. That's who he is. That's who I know. That's what I said. Fidget, please, I can't do this without you. Can you, uh, can you repeat that? <laughs> I said I can't do this without you. I'm sorry, I just... Nobody's ever said that to me before. And it won't be the last time, I assure you. Are you ready, Mithrarin? I am. Then we will meet you in the Everdawn Basin. Goodbye, Dust. We'll see you there. Oh, there goes that love interest for Dust, considering you're technically her brother. <laughs> Uh, you've discovered the truth about yourself. You meet up with Ginger and the Elder in the hidden camp at the foot of the Everdorn Basin. Righty. Oh, there's that complete. Mission completo. We now know the truth about everything. I wonder what would have happened if I had actually chosen one of those two answers. If I had said I am Cassius and become evil. Oh. Interesting. I might, I might reload a save later, and just, and just load and see what happens. I'm gonna, I'm gonna override this. Oh, I can't. Can I? I'm gonna save there, and then I'm gonna leave the second slot where it is because that's the closest point. And I can see what those two answers do later. General Gaius? What news, Commander? I did not want to believe it, but Cassius is working with the Moonbloods. He has turned against us. That will be for me to decide. Our paths will cross at the Moonblood camp. Of that I am certain. I will speak with him personally. Is that... wise? Our victory is all but assured, Commander. We outnumber them ten to one. We possess superior technology. And we have the element of surprise. But why welcome this rogue element? He has already slain your own soldiers. What more proof do you need that he is a traitor to our cause? Cassius is hardly a rogue element, Commander. The Moonbloods have corrupted his mind, forced him to commit these acts against us. Once I can speak with him, once he remembers who he really is, I'm certain he will return to us. But... <clears throat> yes, sir. As you wish. Cassius, my old friend, so long as you draw breath, I will do what I can to save your broken mind. I promise. Huh. He doesn't really seem like much of a bad guy. Well, that was interesting. We're going to carry on because I'm going to make this an hour-long episode. But, uh, yeah, so we've discovered the truth about pretty much everything now. Which is cool, I suppose. curious as to when I had the choice to decide whether I wanted to say I was Cassius or whether I was the good guy would that actually affect the story as a whole 
Like, when, if I said, if I am Cassius, and then I went up to meet up with the general by going here, would I have become the bad guy and killed off the Moonbloods? No, the, the story probably wouldn't change that much. I doubt they would change the story to that high of a degree. But it's worth testing, so I'll test it after I complete the game. Chapter 5, huh? This is most likely the final chapter. And save. Hello. Halt! Who goes? Oh, it's you! Apologies, Miss Rara. Please, enter. Thank you. Finally, I don't need to go fighting everyone. What the hell? Where'd you guys come from? We welcome your presence, Sen Mithrarin. Preparations for war are nearly complete. Is this all you have left? Surely you have more soldiers than this. General Gaius is nothing if not thorough. His forces have exterminated most Moonbloods from this land. We are all that's left. How do you expect to win with so few soldiers? Me. We cannot. That's why we created Sen Mithrarin. You dust will turn the tide. Ah, uh, well, no pressure or anything. Yeah. Does General Gaius know of this place? I fear he does now. What? How? One of our own has been keeping an eye on you since your travels began. A merchant, Sereth. Aha! I knew that creepy merchant was one of you guys. How did a Moonblood operate so freely in the Wildlands? Magic. He's a smart businessman. Deals in all the right places. Gaius' soldiers turn their gaze from him in exchange for free goods. However, no amount of bribery could cover up that Sereth was helping you to find us. And hmm. that's how Gaius found out. How much time do you think we have to prepare? Not long, I'm afraid. The whole purpose of Gaius's campaign is to wipe us from the face of this world. Once he knows of our final stronghold, he will send everything he has and destroy us. I see all sorts of lamps here, but no fire. Is this the way of the flameless light? It is, yes. In ancient times, the Moonbloods went by another name. We lived in a great society called the Sintok and we wielded the knowledge to follow the way of the flameless light. Settle in, Dust. This could take a while. <laughs> we sent a harness to power unlike any this world had ever seen. We built elaborate contraptions like these lamps, capable of piercing the darkness without so much as a spark. Well, obviously something went wrong, because we still have to build a fire every time Dust pulls out his map. Unfortunately, <laughs> the ancient tomes do not say how the Sintuk fell. And that knowledge has been lost. Perhaps intentionally. Maybe God knows. knows that our kind were made as outcasts, and that has remained true for countless generations. For the longest time, we believe the Moonbloods were the only ones left who know of the way of the flameless light. But we were wrong. When General Gaius began his purge, there were stories of their weapons, stories of elaborate contraptions that seemed to defy the natural world. Weapons that sound identical to those of the Sintuk in the most ancient of tales. What kinds of weapons are we talking about? Arrows made of light. Machines that take to the sky like birds. And we are supposed to fight these things with your... lamps. I did not say it would be easy. Nobody ever does. I, I did fun. once, remember? Yeah, and you were wrong. Well, I'm here now. Is there anything I can do to help? We are spread rather thin. Our chief engineer, Sonjin, is having trouble with our camp's support systems. Go and speak with him when you can, and I'm sure he will explain further. <sighs> Yay. There is also the matter Side of our quests. scout, Kier. He has not checked in for many hours. But with our battle preparations, we have not been able to mobilize a proper search party. 
His patrol takes him east of our camp if you aim to find him. Oh. Side quests, yay! I should do that sometime. Get my payment. I should go there as well and do that at some point. Oh well, we're probably going to complete the game anyway, so... There's that. Hey, look who it is. Ginger? Gin? Oh, Dust. It's you. Yeah, just me. Are you alright? I'll be fine. Just a lot to think about. Listen, about Jin. Yes? What was he like? He was very kind. Almost to a fault, really. I like him already. <laughs> yes, he had that effect on people. I like to believe it's what made you do all those wonderful things for Aurora and Mudpot. Uh, I'd like to say my choice is on my own, but the obvious answer is the top one here. Aro was always testing me. Every time I made a choice, he would tell me if it was the right one. I was choosing whether to follow Jin or Cassius. I believe they were both trying to influence my actions. And you listened to Jin? Yeah, he's kinda hard to ignore. I didn't have a choice. He is, isn't he? Or at least he was. Uh, I'm just gonna say he's gone now. Ginger, you really need to let him go. I wish I could replace him, I do, but... No, you're right. I need to accept that Jin made his own choice, and it's led to this. To you. I just wish I could remember more. Sometimes I wonder if my thoughts are Jin's, or from Cassius, or if I truly am thinking for myself. Oh, dilemmas. It sounds like you still have a lot of questions about who you are. I suppose I do. Well, I should probably get going. I understand. Good luck, Dust. No problem. Easy win, right? I've only got to destroy a couple of armies. An army or two. What is my phone beeping about? Oh, okay. Why is there a giant freaking hole here? Ooh. doing exactly. Check in with Kier at the edge of the camp and assist Sanjin in, in restoring the moon blood support system. Okay. Ah, a key! Ah! Oh yes. How amazing am I? Super amazing, that's... Oh. oh. I see what I have to do here. Very easy. Nothing too difficult. That was a bit close. That was even closer. Ooh. What do we have up here? Ooh. Well, there's the generator. Let's see if we can find a way to get it working again. Oh, I sense no energy emanating from the device dust. Perhaps there is a way to return its spark? Dust storm. Oh, I was just exploring. I wasn't really looking for this thing. Spark, you say? Well done, Fidget. The camp should now be receiving power. Honestly, Fidget, where would I be without you? Probably still be wandering around in the mountains outside Aurora. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> what I meant to say was, uh... Don't worry about it. Problem solved. 
Oh shit, oh, oh boy, oh boy, whoa, 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 now. Okay, not, not double jumping to the second one. That would be a terrible idea. Oops. Uh, let's go ahead and save before I die horribly and have to do that again. Now, what is over this way? I didn't see that, didn't you? Did you? Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Again! There we go, that's more like it. Oh fuck, fuck, fuck! Ah, oh, I'm so dead. <laughs> I'm dead. God damn it. God damn it. I'm glad I saved, because that, that was that was bad. That was bad. coming through, don't mind me. Um. Ah. Oh, hello. Ah, that's probably just a shortcut back. I'm not going to go through that. It's clearly just a shortcut back to the start. This is the water pump. Huh. No wonder it's dark. These vines are growing all over it. I don't want to risk damaging the pump trying to cut those vines. Maybe there's some way we can burn them off? Well, could you make it any more obvious, game? <laughs> all right. That seems to fix it. Nice work, Fidget. But stop. You're making me blunt. Okay, that's the generator and the water pump back online. Let's return to Sanji. Indeed. That was easy as pie. Excellent, excellent. Uh, one second. Okay, we're back. So, uh, carry on. Just had to. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> I just had to go and check something. And up we go. Shouldn't they have been taken care of by the guard? Oh well. Uh, did you hear something? Nope. I did not. The music's gone. I'm guessing a boss fight is about to happen because it's building up to it. Oh, I want to go down there so bad. 
Oh, I knew it. Excellent. Thought I couldn't see you? Really, bro? Lol, easy mode. Is that it? Okay. Don't make it too easy for me. Magma mantle. Well, it doesn't make me invisible, which I'm a little upset about. Oh well. I need to get. A couple of those, although I have no idea where I get those from. I don't have a yellow stone, do I? Oh well, let's uh, go back to uh, where we need to Hey now! make it too easy. I mean, the, the electricity around them is just making it pure obvious. Do you like lightning? I like lightning. How are you doing? Oh, three of them, huh? They may be invisible, but they're really bad at fighting. They're not quick or anything, they're so easy to dodge, just a joke. It's practically a joke. Yeah. They are. Oh, oh, almost fell there. That was bad. Hey, how are you doing? Not talking to you. Elder, I'm afraid I have bad news. We found Kier, but he was ambushed by Gaius' soldiers. He didn't stand a chance. Then it has already begun. Dust, we are nearly out of time. Please, help Sonjin get our camp support systems working once again. Without them, we will stand little chance of mounting an effective defense. It sounds like Sonjin was able to get the pumps and generators working again. No doubt thanks to your help. With power and water flowing through our camp once again, we will be better equipped to handle our enemies in battle and properly tend to our wounded. Thank you, Dust. I believe we are as prepared as we possibly could be. With the enemy at our gates, we have no choice but to begin our assault. Your assault? Our warriors are you gathering be at the edge of the camp, waiting for you to lead them. Have you never Take heard of this Sparta? yellow resonance gem, Dust. Use it to open the gate. Thank you, Elder for everything. Whatever happens, Sen Mithrarin, know that I am honored to have stood before you. The Moonbloods will follow you unto death. Now go, and dust. Good luck. Why don't we just leave the gate closed? <laughs> that would be the smart thing to do here. Yeah. Hey, how are you doing, Sanji? Excellent work, Mithrarin. Yep, no problem. No problem, though. Oh my god, I had 180 defense swing and I'm not wearing it. I am a silly person indeed. Absolutely unbelievable. I'm, 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 I should have a lot of good stuff here, this is crazy. No, 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 not just yet. Let me have a look at the other stuff I can craft here. That's nice, 100 defense. I lose a lot of attack. Yeah, I think I should uh, craft that. Uh, can I craft any good suits? 
Conclusion AE one me again. I mean, this is basically going into the final fight. I should just try and find the best possible stuff so I have it. Yeah, you know, the biggest advantage that I can get. That'd be really good, but I can't get it, unfortunately. I can craft that, which would be super effective. Using that, definitely. Oh, hold on, how about uh, wings? Can I craft any good wings? That looks good. I'll be fine as I am, right? I mean, no enemy has posed a threat to me thus far. Come, buddy boy. Oh, crap, I didn't see him. I thought there was another one somewhere. I must have missed him. Curious. That's not fair. Oh, well, onwards and upwards. Aha, oh, my save. Excellent. Hey, my favourite shopkeeper. It seems my secret is out, yes? It honestly wasn't that much the secret. So, you were keeping watch on us this whole time? In a manner of speaking, just making sure you were well supplied for the journey. Well, we appreciate the help. I am glad, my friend. Anything I can sell that I don't need? Actually, speaking of which, I don't need you anymore, do I? I need materials. Um, I'm guessing I can't buy the rock. Oh well, whatever. I'll be okay. Let me just get some food and I'll be set. Your trend. Watch your. There, the warriors are gathering. Ah, Mithraren, superb timing. As you can see, our path out of the camp is blocked. Some manner of rock slide, very unpredictable. Yes, that happens sometimes when you build your village in a volcanic wasteland. <laughs> anyway, we will need to clear this obstruction before we can exit the camp. I'll see what I can do. Of course. Of course. Fucking rock. Well, that one was the trap, apparently. does it? That does me no good. 
not belong this. Oh, 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 we're not going that way. Same point. Excellent. But first, we need to check what's over this way. Nothing? Ah, oh, that's a shame. Six minutes left. I don't know when the next save point is going to be, so I'm just going to go ahead and end it here. I think that's the, uh, the smart thing to do. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Dust and Elysian Tale, where many, where many truths were revealed to us. And uh, I'm pretty much gonna, just going to save it and then I'm going to start recording again and carry on. Which, in what I believe will probably be the final episode, but we shall see. So, once again, thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next episode of Dust and Elysian Tale.